Let's continue to the next floor and find Mr. Director. This should be the final floor, actually. Fifth floor, Director's Office. Indeed. <laughs> oh, and apparently I'm not allowed to go through here. <laughs> uh, you! You came to rescue me? Is that what you were expecting? Wrong! I am an imposter! I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hit the real director? Sure, I'll tell you, but only if you can beat me. Interesting. Undercover mission. <laughs> it looks like a rocket executive already took over this place in order to prepare for this takeover. I'm not too sure how he was able to actually uh, take over this place with just weak coughing. <laughs> coughing should not be a problem. Andros, take care of this guy. Level 30 is pretty high level, to be honest, but um, nothing my level 32 can't handle. <laughs> or must I say, level 33. Nice job, Andros. Pokemon number 2 is another coughing. However, we are going to switch because there's still level 32s in my team. Let's see you handle this, Joffrey. Ground type should be good against poison types, so magnitude. Gone in one hit, no matter what. Super effective, so. Can't imagine this guy surviving. Number three. Another coughing. <laughs> I think Joffrey's going to level up in this battle as well. No doubt. If all of these guys are going to drop 700 XP, and this uh, battle is going to be enough for him as well. One more. Number four. Weezing! <laughs> Finally, something else. Evolved form of coughing. Same level as me. Going to be interesting. It's even faster than me. <laughs> Magnitude 6 is not really that strong, so he might survive this. Yeah, indeed. Finally, a worthy opponent. <laughs> oh, explosion. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but not for me, because it's not very effective against me. I will live. An 1100 XP. Enough for Joffrey to also reach level 33. Two more. Returning to weak coughings. And I only have one more Pokemon left, <laughs> who's not level 33, so easy choice. It is time for Magnus. Fire Punch, of course. Also enough in order to kill him in one hit. Thank you. Last one, coughing, level 30. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Five coughings, level 30, and one wheezing, level 32. <laughs> Alright, that was the executive here. The fake director. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you where he is. Well, you'd better, because I'm going to beat you again. <laughs> we stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. Ooh. It is at the far end of the underground. But I doubt you'll get that far. We received the basement key. And we are also summoned to actually leave this place again. Only the real director actually has a way to move on in this place. And currently the real director is not present in this place. Only the fake director. And we can't use Dick in here. <laughs> Apparently, this is officially not a dungeon, so... In that case, we're walking down. All of the guys are defeated here, so... We're going to have to wait until opening that door. The director has the key, but the director is not here. It is time for us to actually start checking out a different place. And I think that place actually does function as an official dungeon, so... 
might be able to use dig in there the moment we are done. <laughs> the underground warehouse in the far end of the underground passage, apparently. Now that we're out here, let's go um, make use of the situation and start healing at the Pokemon Center. And then it is off to the place where we do need to go. It is a place we've checked out already before. However, back then we weren't able to actually enter that place. No, we can't ride a bicycle in the Pokemon Center. <laughs> but we can here. Let's go back to the underground passage. No, no, this place is blocked off by rockets. It's not here. Um, where was it again? <laughs> uh, this... Oh yeah, this was it. The underground passage. Remember this corridor leading right? No entrance allowed. We uh, actually bumped into last time. But this is indeed where we need to go. This is where they stashed the real director of the radio tower. The basement key opens the door. Thank you. Let's move on to the next dungeon of this game. Obviously, this place also functions as a rocket hideout. Oh. Of course. <laughs> Megan, I should have known. <laughs> Hold it. I saw you, so I tailed you. I don't need you underfoot while I take care of Team Rocket. Wait a second. You beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke. But I repay my debts. Before actually taking on this rocket dungeon, we're first going to battle Megan again. He once again shows up, brings along five Pokémon this time. And the first one is Golbat. Level 30, ooh. Megan has also been training, it looks like. I'm not that much higher in level. However, I still have no doubt I'm stronger than him. Ooh, it knows Wing Attack. The Sith has already proven that's a pretty strong move, so... <laughs> need to be careful for that. Ooh, it takes three hits in order to take out this Golbat. Um, Ember should be enough. I'm not going to waste a strong move on uh, somebody with that low HP. <laughs> 1098 XP. And the second Pokémon is Hunter. Another poison type. Um, let's switch because Magnus is low on HP. Joffrey is a better idea. Let's go work with uh, super effective moves for now. And we all know Magnus is not able to do that. But Joffrey can. He has a ground type move. Two in fact. So let's go use Dick. <laughs> oh, he uses Curse. Cuts his own HP. And curses me. Ow. Curse hurts. <laughs> However, this is also going to hurt you. And that was two. Third one. Meganium. I need um, Magnus again. Meganium, of course, grass type. So. Let's go burn this thing. You have a beautiful flower around your neck now, in your third evolution stage. But it will also burn quite nicely. <laughs> Level 32 is not going to help you. Two hits should be enough. It seems Megan wants to work with uh, status a lot. One of my Pokémon is cursed. And now another one is poisoned. <laughs> there we go. It should be the final time Magnus actually needs to be out. Because this will level him up. With his low HP and poison, I want him out of here. <laughs> oh, he's going to learn Sunny Day first. It's a move that can actually power up um, fire-type moves. So, um, let's go disband and smog. It's way too weak of a move anyway. And this might help strengthen uh, both Ember and Fire Punch. Magnemite. Hmm. After all of the cool Pokémon just now, Magnemite is kind of um, a meh. <laughs> Not that intimidating. 
not even that high level. It's only Pokémon not above level 30. So this is going to be piece of cake. You should know better at this point, Megan. Those kinds of Pokémon don't cut it around here. <laughs> Ooh, but here's an interesting one. This new Pokémon is actually a Sneasel. Very strong dark type Pokémon. Which is actually also an ice type, and therefore can be pretty difficult uh, to take out. But I should have something that works against this guy. As you may know, dark types are weak against bug types. So let's go bring out Sid for him. Here is Sneasel. Also level 32, so don't take this guy lightly. Sid can actually take this guy on. Let's go use Fury Cutter on him. First time is going to be relatively weak, but it will get stronger. And Screech is not going to prevent that, because that will only lower my defense, and not my attack. <laughs> okay, I can take that, but this one should hurt you. Quite a bit, even. <laughs> Next move, you're out. And Quick Attack is not going to help you. Fury Cutter, and this is over. Definitely your most intimidating Pokémon so far, Sneasel. But nothing my bug can't handle. Megan falls again. Why? Why do I lose? I've assembled the toughest Pokémon. I didn't ease up on the gas. So, why do I lose? Because you're an annoying little brat. <laughs> I don't understand. Is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat Pokémon properly? Love? Trust? Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I... I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokémon trainer. As long as you just leave me alone, because I'm busy. <laughs> oh, Megan. Uh, Megan did hurt me, so... Um, I might actually start thinking about healing before actually uh, starting this place. <laughs> Alright, where were we? Oh yeah, Team Rocket. <laughs> I don't care if you're lost. You show up here. You're nothing but a victim. Well, I can safely assure you I'm not lost. I know damn well what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm here to beat you and your one Pokemon. <laughs> in that case, let's just use this boring battle in order to show off the new move. Let's power up our fire. Sunny day. The sunlight got bright. This actually strengthens all of the fire-type moves, getting used in the battle. Also applies to the opponent, normally. However, I doubt a red is going to have a fire-type move. <laughs> as long as the battlefield is covered in sunlight, all fire-type moves are stronger. That's basically uh, the idea of Sunny Day. Now let's go see what you're hiding. I see a switch behind you. It is labeled Switch 1. It is off. But we can turn it on. Hmm. That's not for now, because uh, this is actually a puzzle. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a couple of doors here, which you can open. And if you try pulling the switch, as you can see, some of the doors will open, but not all of them. This first one uh, can be used in order to get a full heal. In order to open up the rest of the doors, we actually need to puzzle around with all of the switches we find here. Let's go um, turn it off for now. So we can start working with this in a minute. The moment all the trainers are out of the way. Open one shutter. Another closes. Bet you can't get where you want. Indeed, this guy also confirms. This is a puzzle. Trying to find out which switches you need to um, put on and off. It can be quite um, a tricky puzzle here. But first, the battle. Let's take care of this muck. It's pretty low level, so it is not going to be a challenge. 
Yeah, two hits. Harden. Raising defense won't help you. You're almost out already, so... Goodbye. Number two, coughing. This is a Pokemon we've seen plenty of already. Before leaving uh, the radio tower. <laughs> With the executive there. Pretending to be the director. The whole reason why we're here. Because of trying to find the real director. <laughs> Which they hit down here, apparently. Twenty-five Retta. Getting close to level thirty-four, but not quite yet. All right, so there should be a third switch and also a third rocket. Therefore, quahaha! <laughs> Confounded by the shutters, are we? I'll let you in on a secret, if you can beat me. I doubt I actually need the secret, but still. <laughs> the moment you're beaten, we're going to try to find out how this thing works. Three switches in total, as you can see. So, and that is what we need to work with in order to try to solve this puzzle. And beating this guy uh, is not so much a puzzle. That is pathetically easy. <laughs> Level 34 makes it even easier. A stronger Mechmar. Level 34 needs to be reached with other Pokémon as well. Let's go Eve. Still unevolved. <laughs> uh, let's use Iron Tail. Still my strongest move. Need three hits, I think. Especially after Harden. Yeah. The third hit I can do with a weaker move. Bite should be enough. Eight hundred and seven. All right, sir. You promised me a secret. Spill the beans, please. All right. A hint. Change the order of switching. That will change the ways of the shutters opening and closing. Apparently that is also a thing. We can actually shut these on and off, as we already figured out. But the order in which you do it will also actually determine which doors open and close. If you put all three of them on, ordered one to three... And if you put them all on ordered 3 to 1, that will actually have different results. And that is what can make this puzzle uh, pretty complex. Let's try doing it like this first. See what has opened up now. They ditched this project before they finished. I am searching for leftover loot. What do you mean ditched project? Rocket is still here, so... <laughs> Are you seriously trying to rob this place while uh, Team Rocket is still here? <laughs> yeah, they probably needed an excuse to have uh, fire-type trainers in here. As you may know, burglars are fire-type trainers, so... They wanted to have an excuse in order to have some fire-types in here. <laughs> Let's go finish you off. Fire-type against fire-type. But I'm smart enough to use a normal type move. <laughs> Let's also not forget to switch, because uh, Magnus has reached uh, level 34 already. We were working with Eve. Um, Iron Tail. Smog. Hopefully not get poisoned. It's always a risk here, of course. No, but it didn't happen, so thank you. Bite, and we are done. Stop robbing places whenever people are still at home. <laughs> right, now let's not forget to switch. 
Because I did uh, forget it last time. <laughs> like always. You know me by this point. Oh, looks like he's not the only burglar. Fork over your goodies. Hey, only if you beat me. You know how it works in Pokemon. First you need to beat me, and then you get my money. <laughs> Coughing is up first. Last time we took care of him, Iron Tail Bite. So now let's go for Hidden Power. To vary things a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, hidden power also works uh, pretty nicely if it's critical. <laughs> Let's do it again. Number two. Ooh, Magmar. Let's not switch. First uh, level up. Tempting to put in uh, Joffrey or Fairy. Leveling up Eve is a little bit more important for me. I think he needs to be one of the first to level up e each time. Just in case uh, we get an evolution all of a sudden. <laughs> That's potentially possible around this level. Although I'm also pretty sure I have not used him enough yet in order to um, achieve enough happiness. So I doubt we're going to see an evolution pretty soon. But we are going to see burn. <laughs> burn status. 894, not enough to level up. So keeping Eve out is going to be very risky. Let's see how this will actually um, work out. But I do need to heal. That's something I cannot uh, postpone. Super potion. I'll take care of the burn later. Need to make sure I stay alive in order to do my level up this battle. Already have status, so I cannot get poisoned. Now let's go finish you off quickly. Oh, that did not uh, work very well. <laughs> oh, help. Ow. Come on, Eve. Oh, his defense is down. But mine is also not looking very well. <laughs> Ooh. Need to finish it this turn. His defense is down, so bite should be enough. Well, that is one hard earned level up. <laughs> but Eve was able to survive. He can leave the front line, luckily. <laughs>